Yo, what's up everybody? This is Styles and today I'm going to be showing you how to add LUTs in Adobe Premiere Pro CC17. Okay, let's get into it. As you can see here, I have some pretty flat footage of a seagull on the beach. Um, this footage is from a Sony A7S II shot in 4K, 24 frames per second using S-Log3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply an adjustment layer and click new item, go to adjustment layer. I'm not going to click this because I already have one over here. Let me scroll down. It looks like this. So you want to take your adjustment layer and you want to drag it over your footage, stretch it out to the length of the footage. Now what an adjustment layer does, it gives you full control over color grading. When you apply the LUT, you're applying your LUT to your adjustment layer, which gives you full control over color grade. So I'm gonna go now to my color tab, and my color tab is gonna take me to elementary color, and I'm gonna start off under my creative option here, and I'm gonna go into my look, and in your look is where you find your LUTs. LUTs stand for lookup tables, which basically gets you from your original footage to your desired look. Now, I'm gonna show you some of the stock LUTs. And if you pay attention to the seagull and the beach, you can see as I go through the, the different stock LUTs, how the colors change. You know, me, I personally don't use stock LUTs, even though that one looks kinda, kinda close to what I envision that footage to look like, but that's not what I wanna go with. I, I never use stock LUTs. I use my own personal LUTs and you can you can check those out too at my website shotbystyles.com in my digital store. Check out the Shot by Styles Vintage Bundles 1 and 2 and 3 and I also have some other LUTs. Everything is really nice. Trust me. You won't be disappointed. So let's get back to this. You can see here with just these stock, these stock LUTs that when you're installing a LUT in Premiere, it's really easy. But there's one thing I would like to say. When you're color grading and you apply your LUT to your adjustment layer, and it looks good, and I'm gonna apply one of my, one of my LUTs to this. That looks good. That's from my Shot by Styles Vintage Bundle 1. Now, what I was saying before that was, when you apply a LUT to your footage and it looks good, this looks good, you're not done. You still have to go in and maybe sharpen saturation. You might want to add a film look. You might want to mess around with the color wheel. And that's when you get deep into color grading. Now, I'm going to do another video to show you how I color grade. But I just wanted to show you how to apply a LUT. You know, I had a couple of people purchase some of my LUTs and they didn't know how to apply them. So I'm making this video to help out. And it's pretty simple. But this is my personal LUT. You can go out of that. You can go back into the, the stock LUTs. But uh, man, I, I really like my LUT right there. It's really nice. So basically that's it. Hopefully this helped you guys out there. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you later.